everyone, and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I wanted to let you know there's a new update for Topaz Sharpen AI. We're going to go over some of the new features today. And also, I wanted to show you on this image here, it's a really out of focus image. And if you've never seen how Sharpen AI can fix an image that's really out of focus, you're going to see with this image today what it can do. Well, let's go ahead and launch Sharpen AI. I've already duplicated my background layer and I renamed it to Sharpen AI. I'll come up here to Filter and come to Topaz Labs and we will launch Sharpen AI and get started. And here we are in Sharpen AI. Now I'm in the uh, comparison view, which I really like it because it lets you see the original and the three different Sharpen modes, for instance, the basic Sharpen mode, the Stabilize mode, and the Focus mode. Now, the Stabilize mode would be for if you had some camera shake, you were using too slow of a shutter speed maybe, and you had a little bit of shake when you were taking your image, that would be the Stabilize mode would correct that problem. And then the Focus mode would be, say, like if you missed the focus, you didn't get your lens focused quite sharply, the Focus mode would fix those type of sharpening problems. And if you had your lens focused properly and no stabilization, problems the sharpen mode is all you need if you're new to sharpen ai and you're wondering what those modes are all about that's what they're all about and by looking at all the different images here we can clearly see that stabilize is the mode that's going to correct my problem today we're going to work on this image a little bit further, but before we do, let's talk about the new update and some of the changes now you'll notice i'm running version 2.2.4 but I want to show you something. If you come up to the help screen and come down here to change log and click this, this will take you to the Topaz website if you're online. And this is where you find out what the changes are to the program. So let's come here and click on Sharpen AI 2.2.4, the latest version. And take notice here on uh, February 16th, 2021, this is the new update, 2.2.3, but you'll notice two days later, they released another update. This update went out, but there was issues with it. Uh, the comparison view was not generating previews. And when I originally downloaded the 2.2.3, I thought, oh no, this is not good. I waited a couple days because I was going to make a video, but I had to wait a couple days and a couple days they fixed it. Thank you, Topaz, for fixing that. And they also fixed some performance issues when panning and then fix the apply button disappearing when adding a mask when running sharpen as a plugin and i had that issue as well so they fixed those issues if you updated a few days back to version 2.2.3 and you were having some problems they can be fixed just go ahead and update your uh sharpen ai and you'll get version 2.2.4 and those problems will be taken care of and now that you know how to go to the change log just uh go under uh version 2.2.3 read all the changes in here they're mostly under the hood changes very good changes there's one cosmetic change and i'll show you that here in a second and now we're back in Sharpen AI. And here's the cosmetic change. If you see these happy faces and frowny faces and all these different uh, modes here, okay, you see them? If you like a result, you can click your happy face and say, I like the result. It sends feedback back to Topaz and they know they're moving in the right direction. If you click on the frowny face, you can click this and check off what kind of an issue you were having and then you can write comments here and then you can check this box here and send them a preview snapshot and submit and that feeds back information to them and that allows them to know if the product is moving in the right direction so that's all part of the topaz quality control and that's a good thing let's go ahead and finish off this image here all right comparison view here so the sharpen mode definitely not not that good the focus mode, not very good, but the stabilize mode looks really good. Now, my next step is to come up here to view. This is the way I like to do it. Come to view and go to a side-by-side -side view. And this way, I can look at these two images side-by-side -side and get a, get a bigger look here. And Houston, I have a problem. I'm in the uh, focus mode. I want to be in the stabilize mode. Let me go ahead and click stabilize. And there, look how good that is. So compare the image on the left to the image on the right. And now I can take a look at the noise. You can see the noise level here. It's cleaned it up nicely. I don't want to mess with the noise, but I want to see if I can um, improve the sharpness anymore. Now I started out in the auto mode and I always recommend start out in the auto mode and then work from there. So a lot of times I'll take the sharpness and I'll move it the whole way to 100% and see what it looks like. I generally never like to take it to 100%, but sometimes I do. But then I'll usually I'll just back it off a little bit and see what kind of a result I get. And there it is. Okay. So it's not giving it any uh, 
bad results at 100%, I might just back it off a little bit. I generally don't like to take anything the whole way up. So I'm going to take it to around 84% and see what it looks like. And yeah, that looks really good. Compare the left to the right, the original to the updated version using the stabilized mode. And that is pretty amazing, those results, wouldn't you say? Well, I clearly had a camera shake issue. I was a little shaky handed when I took this image. So stabilize mode to the rescue and sharpen AI actually to the rescue. I don't know what I would do without this program. It has saved so many images for me because I don't use tripods. I like to handhold my images because I like to have that freedom to move around. Okay, so thank you, Sharpen AI, for helping me out. And now all I need to do is click apply and that'll send us right back into Photoshop. And now we're back in Photoshop and I'm zoomed in over 200%, I think around 220%. And here's my corrected image, thanks to Sharpen AI. Here's the original. So check that out. Wouldn't you say you could never use an image like that? And I don't know any other product on the market that can take an image that looks like this and turn it into an image that looks like this. It is pretty amazing. Thank you, Sharpen AI. Well, there it is, everyone. This is Topaz Sharpen AI, the latest update, version 2.2.4. Now, remember, if you updated a few days back to version 2.2.3, make sure you update to the 2.2.4 because there was an issue with the comparison view and a couple other problems. They fixed that, so go ahead and do that. And also, you can save 15% off of any Topaz product when you uh, click on my affiliate link in the description below and use my promo code, David Kelly. That's all one word, David kelly at checkout and that's good for license renewals so say for instance if your license was let go you can purchase a new license renewal anytime you want to if you own a product it could be years later so just uh renew your license and you can also save 15 percent off of that license renewal by using my promo code and so there you go if you enjoyed the tutorial today please give it a like share it with your friends if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel please subscribe click the bell notification icon then every time i upload a new tutorial you you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.